Aetna wants to merge with Humana. This is a $37 billion merger. Now, on a $37 billion merger, there's going to be hundreds of millions of dollars for the senior executives, for the stockholders, for the lobbyists to make this happen. And so with a $37 billion merger, uh, with all this money slopping around here in Washington, D.C., it's like, what a surprise. Here we are. This, this is from... Uh, the International Business Times, piece by David Sirota and Clark Mindock. Eleven years after leaving his post, former Senate Majority Leader Tom Daschle registered to lobby for the first time in February, filing paperwork to solely represent insurance giant Aetna. Aetna has enlisted an army of former government officials turned lobbyists, just as the company is asking the Justice Department to approve a controversial $37 billion merger with fellow insurance giant Humana. As watchdog groups warned that the merger could increase premium prices and violate antitrust laws, Aetna, which posted $60 billion in total revenue last year. Now, wait, get this. This is a health insurance company. They pretend that they're in the health business. They're really banksters. They're in the banking business. They take your money, and then using that money, they pay for your health costs. And they keep a whole bunch of it for themselves. They spent a total of $4 million lobbying the federal government last year, including the office of the president, $3 million on lobbying their own officials, on, on lobbying officials. Federal records show it employed a, a total of 25 former federal officials as lobbyists last year. It was amazing. Seth Bloom, a former general counsel of the Senate Antitrust Committee. Deborah Price, former Republican Congresswoman and House Republican Conference Chairwoman. Joseph Gibson, former counsel of the Justice Department's Antitrust Division. Malloy McDaniel, former top aide to Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Christy Remington, former Deputy Attorney General in George W. Bush's administration. Cindy Brown, former Chief of Staff to Wisconsin Democratic Representative Ron Kind. Mike McKay, former aide to New York Democratic Rep. Greg Meeks. And on it goes. This is, these are the ministers that they were talking about in, in that, that Rusticus was talking about in October, on October 27, 1773, when he was saying, you know, the ministers are conspiring with the British East India Company to wipe out our small tea shops to dominate the economic life of what, you know, of, of what was not yet the United States of America, but to the dominate of the British colony here. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the watch more videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.